Tonight, several con controversial construction projects are coming up before Jacksonville City Council. And one of them that many people have spoken out against in the past involves a new development in Northeast Jacksonville. It's near the Pumpkin Hill Preserve. The proposed new homes will not be directly on the preserve, but some residents believe the number of new houses will affect the natural area that the city is trying to preserve. News for Jacks reporter Jim Piggott went to the Pumpkin Hill area and spoke with some of the people who live there who are at City Council meeting right now. With the help of the Sky 4 drone, I'm going to show you what we're talking about. I'm here near the Pumpkin Hill Preserve, and this area of land back here is where those homes will more than likely be built. It's coming up before council tonight. But people that live out here say people need to pay attention to what exactly is happening because it's taxpayers' money that could be affected by all of this. Charlene Byron and Stu Jones are just two of those planning to speak out tonight on a vote that could change their neighborhood. We showed you their story in the past about a planned development site near the Pumpkin Hill Preserve. It's possible 100 new homes could be built, joining other developments in the area. Pumpkin Hill is a natural preserve that the city has set aside to protect. But Charlene says this plan is just getting too close. We are doing this for the taxpayers of Jacksonville. It's their money that was used to procure Pumpkin Hill under the Better Jacksonville plan. Stu isn't against development, but says it has to be done correctly. They have the right to put, uh, I believe, 12 houses on there. Uh, that's what they can do. Um, they can also petition for this amendment change or this rezoning change, but that doesn't mean they're, that's granted. That's, that's just something they need to do. And just because they ask for it doesn't mean that it should be done. It's not right for this area. It's not consistent. It's not compatible. The council has put off a decision on the zoning change, and now we'll hear from residents again. The problem, well, it could be the last thing the council takes up tonight. They are hoping that the majority of us will just give up and leave and they won't even have to listen to us speak because we've heard the comments. Oh my gosh, here they come again. Councilman Al Ferrara, who represents the area and is running for mayor, believes this is going to pass tonight despite the objections and says it's a big mistake for the entire city. I think um, this is the floodgates opening up in the area of our parks and preserves, not to mention the rest of our city. You know that council meeting is underway right now. We're out front. It's going to be a long meeting tonight. By the way, I did reach out to the developer's attorney on this on Pumpkin Hill and so far not heard back from them. And this is one of many controversial topics coming up tonight. Two other zoning issues. One is in Mandarin, and that's on Livingston Road where they want to put in 100 new uh, townhomes. Another is for a building, a warehouse facility in San Marco on Pudential Drive. Those are going to have public hearings tonight. So this is is going to be a very long meeting. For now, we're live at City Hall. Jim Pickett, Channel 4, The Local Station.